What up, everybody? So as you can tell from the title of the video, I got my top five cigars I smoked this year. I've smoked a plenty of great cigars. Um, a lot of times it's hard to, you know, kind of compare cigar to cigar because obviously uh, there are different types of tobaccos and what I like changes. And uh, so this whole thing is very, very subjective. But these are five cigars that kind of stick out to me above the rest. And so number one, here it is. Actually, I think I had, yeah, I had it right here. Here's my number one. If you guys have been following my channel, you probably wouldn't be surprised. It's the Caffey 1901 Don Fernando Maduro. And this is just a super amazing cigar. The packaging that came with it had a nice cedar box and everything. Um, they have a nice ribbon. And it's just a perfect wrapper. And it just smells like, oh my gosh, this, I just want one right there. This, one, this is my last one, actually, so I should probably just buy more, really. But um, basically, they're a, a, you know, a family who um, just, I mean, they make great cigars. I, I can't even say, you, check out my review in it in the description. Um, just lots of great uh, sweet flavors like Graham and like Marshmallow. Just out of this world uh, flavor. So, yeah, if you guys want to see the review, you can definitely check that out um, in the description below. I guess this is more just about like a quick recap of the year. Um, but yeah, check out the Don Fernando uh, from Caffey. Number two on my list is the Gonzo. Gonzo Vintage 2007. And um, I did this with the review. It was uh, an online review. Uh, a Herf Hangout with Kyle from Cigar Memoir. Um, this is just an awesome cigar. I, I had the Lancero that was sent to me from... Um, from House of Emilio, so it's definitely a really cool. It's been a great year for um, for boutique cigars and small batch things, but uh, yeah, this is like a it was like a box press Lancero. It has a uh, a broadleaf wrapper, which I'm a really big fan of broadleaf because it's really nice and sweet. Um, and the double binder, San Andres and Jalapa. So just a really unique cigar. Tons of flavor, especially in the Lancero, I bet. And that really just stuck out to me. As being amazing. Um, so the Gonzo 2000, Vintage 2007, definitely check that out. Let's see here. Number three on my list is the Padron 1926 uh, Number Two in Natural. And I just reviewed this cigar. You know, this is like a video. This is like my last review. Um, you know, every time I have a Padron, uh, it's just amazing. And then you know, once I try 64, even better. Uh, a 26, even more so, probably better. Um, so pretty much anything from, from Padron, I just, I'm in love with. You know, I can't stop thinking about them. Now, this was the natural. I, I tend to gravitate towards the Maduro, but this natural is so great. I had to put it up there on my top, you know, that I've smoked this year. Um, it's a shame I don't have more of them, really, because I, you know, I feel like I could just, I could just buy those and be happy. Um, so number four on my list is the Ezra Zion, Ezra Zion, Ezra Zion Jamais Vu. And this is uh, my friend Kyle from, um, my friend Kyle from uh, Ezra Zion sent this to me. And it's just a wonderful cigar. I have two more left. I need to review this. Um, but just the shape, the quality, it had a plenty of transitions. Um, and my mom even liked it. So I thought that was kind of funny. My mom was like, let me try that. So she put it in her mouth. She's like, this is fantastic. I don't want to talk too much about it because I still got to review it. But definitely check out anything from Ezra Zion. I still have I still have this uh, FHK to review for them as well. And they also sent me a uh, Cigar Federation cigar here. Um, what is that called? The Collective. So, oh, and I, they also have, Kyle also runs Bless Leaf, uh, which is a, he's like the cigar pastor for this online community. And so I also have to review the Bless Leaf Kairos. And that, I mean, these, I have to review all these basically, but great things coming out of this company, out of Bless Leaf, out of Ezra Zion, out of Cigar Federation. They're just awesome guys. Uh, Chris Kelly um, is also there. Um, so, yeah, that's my number four, I think it was. And then my number five was this bad boy. Boom. Boom, check that out. You guys probably know this. 
I have to include my own cigar in here. This is one of the ones I rolled. Um, and uh, so this has just been, you know, drying and aging. It's very, really rustic looking. It's really veiny. This this medium Maduro leaf is quite veiny, but it really tastes great. So, yeah, this is one of the cigars I rolled. Um, I put like a big old fat cap on it. I figure I'm going to cut it anyway, so I don't really care that much. But um, it's just, it's really, it's a pleasure smoking your own cigar. I, it's not, it's not very pretty, but man, I made it. I made it mine. And uh, I know exactly what's in it. I know exactly how I rolled it. If it's too tight, I got no one to blame but myself. If it's too loose, uh, you know, again, it's just, I like, there's just a weird satisfaction um, about rolling your own. So I think I'm going to keep doing this. But yeah, those are the, my top five cigars of this year. Uh, definitely check out the reviews. Um, the, I got plenty more to come. I have tons of stuff in my humidor back here, over there. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been a great year. Thank you to uh, House of Emilio, Caffey Cigars, um, Ezra Zion. Um, there's just there's so many people who've sent me stuff uh, that I can't even name them all. But just thank you guys for supporting me and. Definitely check out some more videos, like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you guys later. Thanks again.